BJP National Secretary Ritu Raj Sinha on Monday said that pros and cons of implementing the inner line permit in Meghalaya is being discussed and the party will provide more clarity on the issue in its manifesto, which Sinha said will be announced in the month of January 2023. I'd like to say that there is no dispute or you know, doubt in anyone's mind that Prime Minister Modi has converted the look east policy of the Congress government in the past to act east policy. The financial resources committed for infrastructure in northeast have more than doubled in the last eight years. Whether it is highways, whether it is rail connectivity, whether it is airports, so much has happened in different parts of northeast. Similarly, all the benefit schemes for the poor, they are being spread, whether it is free home, free gas, electricity connection, water connection, all this scheme has been brought. As regards to inner line permit and other such issues, we are happy to discuss all these issues. We have to look at the pros and the cons. Meghalaya is a state which is heavily dependent on tourists. There are implications of inner line permit on tourism and tourism directly impacts job creation and earning of people of Meghalaya also. So yes, we understand that the culture of Meghalaya has to be protected. The people and their way of life has to be protected. But at the same time, we also need to balance that with the development aspirations of the state. So BJP is actively considering and we will bring out more clarity in this matter during our manifesto announcement. BJP National Secretary Ritu Raj Sinha has also informed that the Bharatiya Janta Party will contest all 60 seats in the upcoming assembly elections. Informing this, Sinha also announced the party's membership drive in Meghalaya and said that it was time for the people to quote, try a double-engine government, unquote. A lot for Meghalaya in last many years. But we believe as BJP that Meghalaya deserves better. Meghalaya deserves more. Looking at the development work that is happening in your neighboring state in last six years in Assam, one feels pain that why we cannot do more in the state of Meghalaya and the people of Meghalaya. Meghalaya deserves better health care, whether it is your public health care system, PHC, or other district level healthcare system. Meghalaya needs better education facility from primary education to higher education. Meghalaya is still suffering from power cuts and electricity issues. <coughs> Meghalaya still many interior parts, the road connectivity is not as good as it should be in a developed state. There is lot of areas where Meghalaya deserves better. This development can only happen with support from central government, support from Modi Sarkar in Delhi. As BJP, we believe that Meghalaya has tried many options. It is now time for Meghalaya to consider a double engine government a government of BJP in center with a government of BJP in the state of Meghalaya. A double engine ka sarkar which will fast track the growth and development works in Meghalaya. Therefore, we are preparing to contest elections in all 60 assembly constituencies of Meghalaya state. We are finding tremendous response, tremendous support from the people of Meghalaya. Many people during our campaigns have said that they want to become BJP member. They want to associate with BJP officially. And taking care of their sentiment in response to the sentiment of the people of Meghalaya, today I am proud with my state president, Sri Arnes Mauriji, and my state prabhari, Chuba Auji, 
to announce BJP membership drive in Meghalaya with the slogan Modi for development, BJP for Meghalaya. Modi for development, BJP for Meghalaya.